how much HBAR to potentially become a crypto millionaire. In today's video, let's find out. And to kick things off, I first want to begin by explaining how I'm not a financial advisor. These are all just hypothetical scenarios, and there's absolutely no guarantee that any of it is going to happen. In addition, the current circulating supply of HBAR is sitting at around $36 billion. So just keep in mind that as the supply changes, these calculations may be affected as well. But with that being said, my first price target for each bar is each bar at the price of a dollar. And of course, at that point, you would need a million each bar to become a millionaire. But a million each bar as of right now is worth $62,500. And by the way, a dollar is a 16x from here. And now with that being said, $62,500. Some people out there, they may think, whoa, this is crazy. And I agree. It is a lot, but here's the thing. Each bar at the price of a dollar, that's still a 16x from here. So let's say if I don't have that much to put in. Let's say, for instance, I put $1,000 into each bar. And if it were to go to the price of a dollar, at that point, I would have managed to turn my $1,000 into 16000 which, of course, is very far from being a millionaire, you know. But still, 16x is a 16x at the end of the day. At least that's the way I view it. It's not bad in my opinion. And now my next price target for each bar is each bar at the price of $2. And at that point, you would need to own 500,000 each bar to become a millionaire. And that, by the way, as of right now, is worth $31,250. And personally speaking, do I think that $2 is realistic for each bar? Yes, I do. And even though this is just hypothetical, the reason why I think so is because I believe that it is that special. You know, first of all, HBAR is the native cryptocurrency of the Hedera Hashgraph network. And the special thing about Hedera Hashgraph is that it actually doesn't utilize blockchain. Instead, it utilizes something called a DAG, which stands for a directed acyclic graph. Now, this right here, I think, has a lot of benefits over traditional blockchain technology because, for instance, a DAG is usually a lot more scalable. It usually has improved data storage. And also on top of that, it typically consumes way less energy as well. You know, for instance, Hedera per transaction on average consumes less energy than the BNB chain, Solana, Avalanche, Algorand, Polkadot, Ethereum, Cardano, and many others. I mean, man, that's very impressive. Just reading that list right there feels like a workout, if you know what I mean. However, it doesn't end there because when it comes to Hedera, its governing council is second to none. And let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, for instance... There's multiple multi-billion dollar enterprises that are a part of their governing council. For instance, DBS Bank, Google, shout out to Google, by the way. That's very amazing. IBM, I think we've all heard of that. LG, very popular. Ubisoft, Dell Technologies, and many others. I mean, a governing council this impressive? I mean, that really right there speaks volumes as to just how amazing this project is, in my opinion. And let's not forget, Hedera has an amazing use case. You know, for instance, it has solutions for stable coins and as well as auditing carbon markets and traceability. But there's actually more because Hedera also has very spectacular functional use cases, such as, for instance, in the case of DeFi, NFTs, decentralized logs, decentralized identity, and even payments as well. So when it comes to Hedera, it's not short of any use cases. So when I consider just how special it is, I don't see why each bar won't go to the price of $2 during this bull run. And now my next price target is each bar at the price of $2.50. At that point, you will need to own 400,000 each bar to become a millionaire, which as of right now, by the way, is worth $25,000. Now, do I think that $2.50 is crazy? Well, I don't because if each bar were to go to the price of $2.50, you know, at that point, market cap would be around $90 billion, which at first glance may sound kind of insane. But here's the thing. Something like BNB at one point reached over $100 billion in market cap. And is, you know, BNB more revolutionary or more special? I don't think so. Keep in mind, just last year, according to Crypto.com research, slightly over 2% of the crypto hacks that happened actually occurred on the BNB smart chain ecosystem. Now, you may be thinking, okay, slightly over 2%, that's not that bad. But here's the thing. When you consider just how massive the crypto space is overall, I think this right here is actually very unacceptable. So when it comes to BNB, I get it. It was good back then. But I just do believe that there is much better options for me and not financial advice. But I think HBAR, it's very revolutionary. It's very fantastic. So reaching around $90 billion in market cap isn't insane. You know, if BNB can go to over $100 billion, why can't? HBAR at least go to 90 billion. 
That's just the way I view it. And now my final and most bullish case price target scenario is HBAR at the price of $3.20. Now, ideally, I would put this at $3, but if I did, the calculations would be a little bit weird. So yeah, I made it $3.20. But besides that point, if it were to go to that price, you would need to own 312,500 HBAR. $3.20, again, I don't think is insane because as of right now, there's more crypto owners than ever before in history. And that's not a joke, by the way. According to Crypto.com research, there's nearly 600 million crypto owners, which should keep in mind is actually nearly double the amount that we saw during the peak of the 2021 bull run. So if the 2021 bull run already looked that spectacular, now that we nearly double the amount of crypto owners when compared to back then, could you imagine just how much more insane this bull run could be? I mean, it's going to be legendary. And also on top of that, Bitcoin, even though recently it did break an all-time high, it didn't even reach the price of $100,000 yet. I think that this bull run is far from over. You know, people keep saying, oh, wow, it's done. But I disagree. I think there's still a ways to go. And just imagine, right? Once Bitcoin goes to the price of $100,000, let us say it goes even beyond that, to $150,000. Can you imagine the altcoin season then? It's going to look legendary. So when I take all those factors into consideration, I don't see why each bar won't go to the price of $3.20 during this bull run, hypothetically speaking. Now, as to how soon this will happen, usually altcoins, they peak anywhere between 6 to 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event. Now, the Bitcoin halving event did happen back in April. So six months is, of course, October this year. 18 months is October next year. So there is a range there. So when it comes to HBAR, I'm staying patient. Again, historically, this isn't even supposed to be the time yet when altcoins are supposed to peak. There's still some time there. And I don't think it's such a bad thing because if I actually have more time to accumulate something that I like, I don't view it as a bad thing at all. In the long term, I view it as actually a very good thing. And my strategy is very simple. I'm a consistent investor. That's the way I view it because I dollar cost average. So anytime I earn income, I'm acquiring, I'm holding, and I'm just waiting. That's it. No day trading, no use on leverage, no swing trading. I'd like to keep things simple. And again, each bar at the price of $3.20 wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. I think it's that amazing. I think it's that fantastic. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very interesting video. I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.